uh, why is the Biden administration trying to interfere in Elon Musk uh, Twitter deal? Shouldn't government stay away from private matters? So let me bring this up. Let's see what actually happened. I mean, did, sometimes private matters has geopolitical consequences. Oh, for so, sure. Uh, Biden administration weighs security review of Musk Twitter deal. Yeah, I mean, if it's a security review, there are some things that are actually have a real effect on national security. And I think the government mm -hmm. has the right to come in and check in how that's, how that's going to affect them. I mean, I understand the fear of that, that that power could be overused, like everything could be a national security matter if you want it to be, like if the definition of that. But I, I mean, I think in a country where there's checks and balance, balances and you can't just redefine things as a security issue every time you want to actually meddle in people's uh, private affairs, yeah. then in that country, I think it could be legitimate for a country to be like, okay, no, this is an actual security matter. And and uh, truly, it it was just a coincidence of of time more than anything. Had this happened under the Trump administration, the Obama administration, any of the Bushes, Reagan, Carter, literally going all the way back to Teddy Roosevelt back in the early 1900s, if this would have happened under any of those presidents the exact same procedure would have occurred because since then the United States government has actively been getting itself involved with large transactions and business dealings like this. Also, let's just remember, uh, countries love their taxes, right? Governments love their taxes. This is supposed to be worth like 50 some odd billion fucking dollars worth of a deal. Of course the government is, is going to be paying attention. They want their 10%, man. <laughs> so like, well, they're saying this is a security issue. Yeah. So let's see what they're saying. Uh, Biden administration officials are discussing whether the United States should subject some of Elon Musk ventures to national review, including the deal for Twitter Inc. and SpaceX's Starlink Satellite Network, Bloomberg News Report. Okay. The SpaceX chief in recent times, I don't care. Okay. Uh, in recent time has taken to Twitter to announce proposals to end Russia's war. I don't care about this one. I care about the Twitter one. Uh, an element of Musk's uh, 44 billion Twitter deal, which could trigger a CFIUS review, is the presence of foreign investors in Musk consortium bloomberg said okay yeah i mean if the people who are buying twitter are going to be foreign a lot of foreign elements that could basically have a say have a direction in what a lot of like a major portion of conversations and speech is happening on twitter like of the world a big portion of that is on twitter so if a few elements have a few foreign elements have, are going to have a say over policies that could realign the direction of what these conversations are going to go. This is going to be a huge propaganda tool that a lot of foreign governments might have on this American platform. So I can see why that would be a concern. Go on. So, so I, I agree with that assessment. Um, I, I would say that my guess would be that this is a little bit more... Your, your assessment as to why the government would need to do that security risk, totally agree with that. I, I would say that it, the United States government is probably not being as honest and serious on this because of the fact that we have such large foreign investment in so many other spaces. I mean, right? Trump talked about this during his presidency that he was going to ban but those TikTok. Are other, but those got reviewed too. Well, no, no, no. That's what, yeah, but, but what I'm saying is ultimately, while that may be what they are saying is the reason, I think at the end of the day, they would still go through this process, whether or not that was the case. And I, I don't believe that that will probably end up making this deal unable to go through is what is I, kind of. What yeah, I, mean. I know. But I understand why something like yes. this needs to be reviewed. And, and I. Least. Yeah, and I yeah. agree with that assessment for sure, especially yeah. with him, you know, being involved so heavily with um, NASA and putting things into space, specifically satellites and tracking them and so forth. Absolutely, this would just this is just standard boilerplate procedure, honestly. Yeah. So it says the the consortium of the people who are buying Twitter with Elon Musk. The group includes Saudi Arabian investor Prince Al Walid bin Talal. Um, and what? Bin oh, Binance, Binance is also. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. Binance is going to be in full. Oh my God! Yeah, for which sure. was founded it's in Shanghai. Great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're gonna. 
yeah, this, I guess I think it's good that they're reviewing it. Yeah, for sure. And again, honestly, this is something that that is is just standard. This isn't outside of the norm. I, I don't think anybody that has been watching this um, that knows about business deals like this or government involvement in business and so forth, like I would think pretty much everybody would agree that this makes total sense and they were expecting it. So. Yeah, okay. I'm actually pissed a little bit, okay? I had to come back to it. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to say okay in the middle of your speech. Um, but um, look at this. They're saying this is actually now I'm a little bit pissed. Binance, which was founded in Shanghai, this is a bit uh, China-phobic, I think. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I mean, what they're trying to say is, ew, it's a Chinese company. Yeah. That's because it's Binance. It's the least, this is like a least in line with Chinese policy government that I could think of. Mm -hmm. The fact that it's like, oh, Binance. Okay, what's the issue with Binance? It was founded in Shanghai. Like, like the Chinese music playing after. <laughs> like, I don't know. You just see like, like, oh, what are they up to? Are they like part of the CCP? Are they going to be like, ah, what the hell are you just buying? This is like, I don't know, this is a crypto company. What are you talking yeah. about? They, yeah. are, they, they themselves are more concerned with <laughs> CCP ruling over what, I don't know. I just say, I, I think it feels a little bit China phobic, guys. Not everything that comes out of China is like the CCP. Can we agree with that? Maybe we sh should I have had the similar reaction with the Saudi prince? Maybe I'm I, out of touch that I'm not having that same like, oh, it's a Saudi prince. I, I mean, it's a, literally a prince. So I think that that's like already kind of governmental. That's what I was going to so, say. I think there's probably a little bit better of a reason to make the connection between somebody that is a Saudi Arabian prince being not so great because of, you know, that government, as opposed to just saying, hey, this business was founded in China and China's government sucks. Right. I, I would say there's a bit of a, a distance. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. OK. OK. Yeah. I felt disgusted a little bit there. Yeah. It was a bit. It was, was based in Shanghai. <laughs> ah, oh, no, Shanghai. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.